I'm Storm Teammate Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth with this quick tropical update. It has now gotten very active out in the Atlantic Basin. Let's talk about all three systems that we're monitoring today. We are, of course, monitoring Hurricane Jose sitting just to the north and east of the Bahamas. We've also got now potential tropical Cyclone 15 heading towards the Caribbean and also right behind it, newly formed Tropical Storm Lee. Let's begin with Jose, still a Category 1 hurricane as of 11 a.m. Saturday. Winds are 80 miles per hour. Long term, this could become a, a, a factor into the forecast for the new Northeast states. We're talking Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Connecticut. They could all be impacted by this system. They are in that threat cone. This would be the middle of next week. Certainly something we'll watch for those folks. Out in the Atlantic, we have Tropical Storm Lee. This was Tropical Depression 14. It is expected to re remain as a tropical storm into early next week, but once we go beyond that, the environment is going to become very treacherous for this system to develop. In fact, wind shear will pick up, which will likely tear this system apart, so it is not really expected to survive beyond Thursday of next week. And then newly formed potential tropical cyclone 15. Now, this classification was just started this year. We have this cluster of thunderstorms, but we cannot find a discernible center. But the Hurricane Center does believe this will become a tropical storm by the end of the weekend. Once we go beyond that time, it is expected to approach the islands. Tropical storm watch is already, already in effect. And this is bad news. This will likely impact areas that are still recovering from Hurricane Irma. And speaking of that, this will likely become a hurricane by the middle of next week as it heads to in the general direction of Puerto Rico. Long time to watch this, and there's still a lot of question up in the air long term as to exactly where this one will head, but we'll certainly be keeping our eyes on it in the days ahead.